Hi, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd go through some Irish slang with you guys. Some of these words and phrases might mean totally different things outside of Ireland, but they're all pretty commonly used in Ireland today. And some of them might be more popular in certain areas, but um, they're all pretty well known. So let's get started. The first one is crack. And this means fun or gossip or good times. So if you said to someone, what's the crack? You're asking them, what's going on with you? Is there any gossip? But you could also use it about someone. So you could say, was he any crack? No, he was no crack. That means he was boring. Or, oh yeah, he was great crack. You had a lot of fun with him. A common phrase with this is any crack. And that means, you know, if your friends are out at a party and you're kind of thinking of going out, but you want to know, is it any good? Are you having fun? You'd say, any crack? And they could say, no, there's no crack. Stay home, don't bother coming out. Or, oh yeah, there's great crack, come out. And um, so, and I know any crack, if you use it in other places outside of Ireland, it's asking for something totally differently, but in Ireland it just means any fun. The next one is your man, and that basically means that guy. And it's usually used in the context when you don't know someone's name. So um, if there's a new person around, you'd kind of ask someone, who's your man? Who's that guy over there? Who's your man? Or um, if you're trying to describe someone, you know your man. Your man that comes in and he wears this or whatever. I know my sister really struggled with this when she moved to the United States a few years ago and she was saying your man. And a lot of people were so confused. They were like, my man? Whose man? But um, yeah, it basically just means your man means that guy. The next one is story. And that basically means what's up so you could say what's the story with your man over there means what's going on with that guy over there or if you're greeting a friend you'd say what's the story and that means anything going on anything happening and also people have shortened it to just story and uh, people can say nah no story or ah oh, yeah i did this or whatever so story basically means what's up the next one is sound and that means all right um, or cool so if you're talking about someone um, and you say oh he's a sound guy that means he's a cool guy or if you did something to someone but they were sound about it means they were cool about it like they were they were all right about it so um sound the next one is grand and that means fine so if you ask someone how are you and they say grand that means they're fine they're good and you can say the weather is grand, that means it's fine, it's not raining, it's, it's grand. The next one is stop the lights, and it means don't be dramatic or I can't handle this. So stop the lights. If someone is over dramatizing a story, you can say stop the lights, you were not nearly killed, you grazed your elbow, um, or stop the lights, I never said that stop going on dramatizing something. And you can also use it as, um, I know the other day one of my friends used it as um, someone sent a baby photo to our group and she said, stop the lights. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So stop the lights can also mean, this is too, too much for me, I can't handle this. The next one is leave it out. And that just means stop. So um, like stop the lights would be kind of a more, oh, stop the lights. Leave it out is a little bit more serious. Like um, if two people are fighting, You'd say, leave it out, stop fighting, sort out your issues, stop in a more strong or aggressive way. So um, yeah, you'd say leave it out if you're not happy with something here. Leave it out. <laughs> Next one is cop on, and that means stop acting stupid. So a common phrase would be, would you ever cop on to yourself? And that means basically, would you ever stop acting stupid and start being yourself again? You'd also just say to someone, cop on, and that just means, Basically, what you said is just stupid, cop on. Cop on to life is another one, and that basically means um, get your senses and start living your normal life because you're acting stupid. The next one is Egypt, and it means idiot. So you could say, um, oh, he's an awful Egypt, means he's a real idiot. Or, I'm sorry I said that, I was being an Egypt means, um, I'm sorry I said that, I was being an idiot. So basically, it's just word for word, Egypt um, for idiot. And if someone said feckin' Egypt, it means real like serious idiot um so i'll move on to feck so feck is the pc word of the f word so you i like i wouldn't use the f word in front of my parents but i'd use feck because feck is kind of it's not really a swear word or if it is it'd be a very small like not important swear word and when you put feck in front of something it basically exaggerates the word that comes after it so if you say he was a feck in egypt he wasn't just an idiot he was a serious idiot. You could say, would you ever feck off? And it's not as bad as F off. Like if you say F off to someone, you're being aggressive, but would you ever feck off is kind of more lighthearted and um, not as offensive as F off. It can also mean like 
throw. So um, oh, he was too drunk, so we got fecked out of the club, or um, the guards were coming, so she threw the guards. Sorry, guards are police. They're, they're the Irish police. That's police in Ireland is guards. The guards were coming, so she fecked the bag of cans over the wall. It means she threw the bag of cans over the wall. So um, feck can yeah, feck can mean those things. The next one is gargle, and that means drink like an alcoholic drink. So I think outside of Ireland, gargle would mean, you know, you gargle with mouthwash um, down your throat, but um, in Ireland, it would usually mean drink. So if you're asking your friends if you wanna go out for some drinks, you could just say a few gargles, and that basically means you wanna go out for some drinks. I wouldn't use that phrase, um, it's not really that common where I am in Ireland, but my husband is from Dublin, and he'd use that all the time. He'd just say to his friends, a few gargles. Um, so it's very common, I guess, in Dublin. And gargled can also mean drunk. So if you say, oh, he was gargled last night, it means he was drunk last night. The next one is bleeding. And this also exaggerates um, the word that follows it. So it's kind of similar to feckin, except, as I said, there might be a little bit of a swear word with feckin, whereas bleeding is not a swear word at all. Bleeding is just very bleeding. So if you said someone was bleeding gargled, they weren't just drunk, they were bleeding gargled, they were hammered. Or if you're talking to someone and you're serious and you want them to know you're serious, you can say, I'm bleeding serious, means I'm not just serious, I'm really very serious. So bleeding kind of, yeah, it exaggerates the word that follows it, it's like very. The next word is Jesus, and it means Jesus. So um, basically you wouldn't use it as like, if you're talking about baby Jesus or God and Jesus. That's always Jesus. You'd never use Jesus for that. It's more kind of like the slang. When Jesus is used as a slang word in Ireland, it's Jesus. So Jesus, I was gargled last night or Jesus, are you serious? Did he say that? So Jesus, just Jesus. <laughs> Next up is dope, which means dopey or acting stupid. So someone can either be a dope or act like a dope. So you could say, he's a dope. Don't listen to him. Don't ever pay attention to what he says because he's just a dope. Or you could say, um, oh, she was acting like such a dope last night. So um, dope is kind of an insult to someone. So you don't want to be called a dope because that means you're basically stupid. The next one is out of his head. And that usually means drunk or drugged up in a bad way. So um, if you get so drunk that you're out of your head, that means that you're not acting like yourself and you've lost your senses. So you could say, she's out of her head, don't listen to her because that's not her. Or um, you could say, you know, the next morning after a crazy night, you could say, oh, I was out of my head last night. How did we get home? Next up is locked and that means drunk. I'm realizing as I'm saying these, I'm realizing a lot of them are very related to alcohol and drinking, but I think that's just the Irish nature. That's just, um, our culture a lot of a lot of drink happens <laughs> so uh, locked means drunk the next one is acting the maggot and it means acting childish or messing around and not in a good way in a bad way so um, if someone is acting the maggot you're annoying people so you say why was he thrown out of the bar oh he was acting the maggot or you could say to someone stop acting the maggot you're really annoying people here yeah you don't want to be acting the maggot that's not cool <laughs> the next one is fair play and that means well done so you'd say to someone, wow, you made that, fair play, that's really good. Or, oh, the team won the match, fair play, that was a good game. So fair play means well done. The next one is gas, and that means hilarious. So if you said he's a gas man, that means he is a hilarious man. And I think gas man means something different in other places. Um, you know, the guy who comes checks the gas boiler or whatever, and um, that's not how it's used in Ireland. A gas man is a funny man. And if you say about someone that he's bleeding gas, that basically means he is the funniest guy you know. The next one is jacks, and it means toilet. So if someone says, where's the jacks? They're asking, where's the toilet? Next up is thick, and it means stupid. So a common phrase is, he's as thick as a plank, and that means he's really stupid. And um, you could say to someone, are you thick? It says no parking. Why are you leaving your car here? Next up is gaff and it means house. So, um, do you wanna come over to gaff means, do you wanna come over to my house? Usually if someone says free gaff, that means party in mine. Um, yeah, gaff, house. Next up is kip, and it can either mean nap or a dirty place. So if you said I'm going for a kip, that means I'm going for a nap. If you said his gaff is a kip, you're saying his house is a dirty place. So it can either mean one of those two things, kip. The next one is wrecked. And similar to kip, it can mean one of two things. So it can either mean tired or exhausted, or it can mean messed up. So you could say, I'm wrecked, I need a kip. 
that means I'm exhausted, I need a nap. Or you could say his gaff was wrecked and that means his house was messed up. And a person can also be, um, you, like you could say someone is wrecking your head and that means they are annoying you. Or you could call someone a wreck the head. Don't invite that person out, he is a wreck the head. He always ruins the night, so wrecked. Yeah, all those things, wrecked. <laughs> the next one is slagging and it is basically a form of good-natured abuse or teasing someone or insulting them but not in a nasty way, like in a fun way because you're friends. So basically in Ireland, um, it's so funny, my friends and I were talking about this the other day, like if someone starts slagging you, that means you've crossed into a real friendship. That's like your friend because you wouldn't slag someone that you're not friends with or you, that you don't know that well because that would be just an insult. But it's usually only good-natured if it's to your face. So slagging someone to their face is a good thing. Slagging someone behind their back is a bad thing. The next one is in bits and it basically means not together. So um, if you're hungover, you'd say my head is in bits and that means my head's all over the place. It could also mean um, if you're talking about someone and you say, oh, they were in bits, that means they were really upset about something, very emotional about something, usually crying. You also use it as a place like, oh, my gaff is in bits today means um, my house is all over the place today, I need to tidy it up. So um, in bits can mean those different things. The next one is sure look. And it's basically a way of responding without actually responding. So um, I feel like in the past, maybe it started with a ah, sure look and then some kind of phrase or proverb to make someone feel better. Um, but nowadays you just say sure look and hopefully it just means like the conversation is dropped. So if someone's going on about something and you're kind of finished hearing about it, you just say, sure look, and hopefully they get the message, that's it, that's the end of the conversation. You know, it can mean, it is what it is, sure look. The next one is, I will, yeah, and that means, I won't, not ever. So, <laughs> everyone in Ireland knows, I don't know where this even came from, but everyone knows if someone says, I will, yeah, that means absolutely not. If you said to someone, you give me a lift to the airport in the morning, if they say, I will, yeah, that means no. You know, when you make me a cup of tea, I will ya means no. That can confuse a lot of people outside of Ireland, but um, the Irish people know I will ya means absolutely not. No, not ever. No. I will ya. <laughs> the next one is giving out, and that basically means complaining or lecturing someone. So um, you could be giving out about how late the bus is. Your boss could give out to you for messing up a report. So um, giving out, yeah, means lecturing or complaining. And then the next one is eat the head off or ate the head off and that's one step above giving out. So if someone ate the head off someone, it basically means they humiliated them, yelled at them, screamed at them. So you don't want anyone to eat the head off you. That would be a very bad thing. <laughs> the next one is donkey's years and it means a long time. So you could say, I haven't seen this person in donkey's years, but it's only for the past tense. You can't say, um, oh, I don't plan on going out in donkey's years. It's only for the past. The next one is class and that means good. So, um, oh, that show was class, means um, that was a really good show. And I think this might come from classic, like, oh, that was a classic moment, um, that's a class moment, because it would make sense, I don't know if it does, but it would make sense if it did come from there, because that's kind of like classic class. I, they kind of mean the same thing. The next one is up to 90, and that means really busy or chaotic. If you said, I've been up to 90 all day, that means I haven't sat down, I've been so busy, um, and it can also mean, if you said the crack was 90, that means that was the best fun, the good time was amazing, it was up here, so um, you definitely want to go to a party where the crack is 90. So that's it, they are my top Irish slang words. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye.